Hey guys, welcome to TechWift. We're going to be talking about technical skills that are necessary for a product manager. We're going to be talking about seven technical skills you should definitely have some knowledge about hoping to get into product management. We are a product manager. Before I jump into these seven skills, you don't need a tech experience for either of these skills. Just make a note of things that I'm talking about. Read them either on Google, find it on my channel. At least have a working understanding of these topics. That Number one, you can build a better reputation with your tech team. Two, you're not too lenient or strict with delivery timelines. Number three, you can identify and debug certain product problems faster. So let's get started. Number one, APIs and SDK. Now you don't need to build an API, but you need to understand the fundamentals of APIs and SDKs. Now you don't need to build either of these, right? But you need to understand the fundamentals of an API, how it works, how does an API body looks like, what is request, what is response, the type of API operations like POST, about error codes, gateways, metering, RPS, etc. All of these are also relevant from the business perspective when you're speaking to customers. You also need to learn a bit about SDKs. Who uses an SDK? Why do we use an SDK? What is the difference between API and SDK? Putting a link to what an API is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. General understanding of how data transmission works. And you need to know how data is exchanged. Browser client is a server. What is cloud storage? Are data centers. You need to understand data is transmitted from one source to another. To understand API as well, you'll also get a relative understanding of this point. Number three, know what constitutes constitutes a product, front-end, back-end and database. What is front-end? Who builds the front-end? What is back-end? Who builds the back-end? Number three, what is a database? Database and back-end are not necessarily the same. Know what data to store, where to store it, which data can help us have insights, which data can lead to privacy issues. We need to understand the type of control we have on the front-end by we I mean the tech team so when you're putting out requirements you need to know if it's a front-end requirement back-end requirement or a database requirement to the right people accordingly this will help you avoid a lot of back and forth and improve the speed of your delivery or know how to play with data firstly know where your data is stored fundamentals like what is the schema the types that exist tables date values etc etc and basic sql to query your own database you can also focus on learning operations like join union etc Drill your data down further. Try to reduce your dependency on tech team when it comes to getting insights from the data. It will help you experiment faster and also help you gain some reputation when speaking to tech. Five, learn basic of software engineering. Personally recommend learning a basic programming language. I started with HTML and ASP and now I can do a bit of scripting on Python. To be honest, I'm no expert, but at least I can understand how long something would take. For example, if I want to change the color of the button, while the deployment will take longer, I know it will not take a lot of time for team to change that into code. No basic scripting, you can also automate a lot of manual work. For example, get, getting data from external data sources or scraping data from external data sources. Python is extremely helpful when it comes to this. Number six, know the basics of how deployments are done. Know what happens when a new feature is released or some change is going out on the product. To give you an example, once you put out a request to tech team, tech team looks for feasibility. After feasibility, the documentation the documentation is reviewed, then the development begins. The development, the tech team does testing. Then after the test cases are satisfied, the feature or the update is pushed to staging. It's a pre-production environment where the product manager or the associate product manager or the QA team does the UAT, which is the user acceptance testing. And after this change is approved, the feature or the new product is pushed to production. Then there is a cycle of bug fixing and the entire process follows again. Know what happens on each of these stages and know where you need to contribute as a PM. Finally, know user funnel and the tools that will enable you to optimize the user funnel. Know how the discovery of the product happens. So SEO, SEM, know the important things in order to rank better. Know what happens after the user is signing up, why the drop-offs could happen. So for example, validation failures or form submission failures or putting too many requests. Know how the user uses the product. User is sending too many requests. Is there an issue around scaling? Know how the data is pushed to database. Know how the data is stored, which data we are not storing what data can help us derive insights, how to query this data that now, now that it's stored in the database, how the first time user experience and the second time user experience needs to be different from a technical perspective. So for example, if the user is coming on the first, the first time, you may need to show them some tutorials, but you may not need to do that the second time. Finally, know what can lead to drop-offs. So app crashes, maybe the image size is too large. These are technical issues or technical things that you need to know about the product failing. But overall, these are the seven things that you should be aware. You know all of these seven things are more than covered in order to have a great reputation when speaking to your tech team and becoming a, becoming a great product manager. But you don't need a technical background. You merely need some working understanding for each of these concepts. If this video was helpful. Consider subscribing to the channel, sharing this with a friend and also dropping a like on this video. See you in the next.